Good morning, everybody. It's time for the daily review. So let's see what's going on in Arena today. So we've got this uh, notification of upcoming renewal. So basically, I think this is going to be the new standard, which is pretty much the same as now. Oh, see, the, so they're, we're getting the new one, the new uh, Zendikar. And we're going to lose these three. All right. So we're going to lose, or these four, <laughs> uh, all the Ravnica stuff and War of the Spark and Corset 2021. So actually, uh, the new standard is going to be quite a bit smaller for a while. So just Throne of Eldraine on. All right. And then these will be unplayable um, unless you're just playing in Historic, right? Or in play. All right. Well, that's actually kind of a neat little graphic there. So, okay. So let's take a look. And see, okay, so we've got Ammon Cut Remastered. All right, let's Premier Draft Ammon Cut Remastered. 10,000 gold to get in, 1,500 gems. I don't think that this is actually really worth it. Unless you're huge into Historic, like, I, I don't think it's worth it to play this. Just because, again, it's limiting. Like, you're paying, ha, uh, limiting, get it? Ha, uh, limited. But, um... If you if you're buying into this, right, you're not really getting cards you can play in standard, and that just opens up a lot more, uh, you know, the things that you could get, right? So I would say that this is probably not the best thing to go into unless you've got a ton of standard cards already. Same thing with Premier Draft Dominaria, right? Um, sealed Amonkhet, eh, same thing, right? Same thing. Like you get, you know, you're gonna get nine packs, which is actually pretty good. Right, nine packs is you know, so you get your six in your sealed and then three more over here, you know, regardless of your wins. And you could get up to twenty two hundred gems. So I mean it's it's not the worst, but it just doesn't help you play. Right? There's still um let's see, so we still got jump start color challenge. Okay. So we still got jump start, and we still got the quick draft and premier draft course at twenty twenty one. Those are the ones I would choose. Um but Let's see what this color challenge is. Color challenge. Oh, what is this? Player versus player. Interesting. Let's see what this is. Color challenge. Challenge white. Challenge five. Oh. Play against another player using the blue deck. Win or lose to complete this color challenge. No one knows who it'll be. Oh, interesting. Okay, you can get some deck upgrades so you can get these different things. Okay, interesting. I feel like I played this before, like maybe a long time ago. Maybe that's why I have all these like check marks. Let's go back. Oh, okay. Maybe I think these are like the original decks that like the original challenges are for new players i don't even remember it seems like so long ago um or i'm not even sure but i don't know give it a shot and play i feel like i've already done all these since i have all the check marks but i don't know it must have been so long ago i don't remember okay anyways let's go take a look at the store and see what they have available oh a cheap pack i would almost certainly get this okay but let's see what else do they have here so they got amonkhet 1800 that's basically a hundred dollars of real life money um i would say probably not okay so then you got these like full art lands amonkhet lands um yeah again i'm very sketchy on lands like especially these lands aren't really that nice looking so i would say probably not like i mean they're okay but i don't know the whole uh bolus and the distance theme just doesn't really do it for me right so i would say i'm not gonna get those I would, if I was going to spend money on lands, I would get the unstable lands. This bundle here for 2,500 gems or 1,250 gold. Um, if you go look, so 2,500 gems, like if you just get like just four of these, that's already 3,200 gems. So like, why would you, like, why would you, and that's not even the whole color set. To get all five, you need 4,000. So, I mean, if you go to these bundles, this uh, the unstable lands are way, way nicer looking, way more striking. Right, and they are also, you know, just, uh, and they're cheaper, right? So better and cheaper, come on. Like, that. if you're gonna get lands, get this one. All right, daily deal is going to be a cheap pack. So normally it's a thousand, it's 25% off. I'd say you should get it. So I'm gonna grab that. 
Alright, and the rest of these are all just card style, so do not get those. Okay, let's go to the packs and open up the pack that I got. What do we got? Okay. Idol of Endurance. Okay. It's a white artifact. Now, usually a colored artifact is a little more powerful, right? Because normally the one of the limiting factors in artifacts is that it can be used in any deck. And so they kind of have to limit the, the power because it can be used like in any generic mana can cast it. But when they attach a color to it, then what they can do is make it a little more powerful. So let's see what our, this one does. When Idol of Endurance enters the battlefield, exile all creature cards with converted mana cost three or less from your graveyard until Idol of Endurance leaves the battlefield. Okay, so for one and a white, tap until end of turn, you may cast a creature spell from among the cards exiled with Idol of Endurance without paying its mana cost. That's actually kind of cool, because basically it means that uh, you can basically take all the creature cards from your graveyard, right, and then pay an extra two and just cast them out of your graveyard anytime, right? So, oh no, not even. Uh, it's not an extra two. It says you can, uh, let's see, cast a creature spell without, without paying its mana cost. So basically for two, you can just cast it again, right? So now this requires you to have uh, cards in the graveyard to start with but this could actually be really really powerful this would be huge in draft right because like all those like one one or two two or three three like three mana stuff you could like like lose them all put this out and then for two mana you can just keep bringing them back this would be like a huge huge card advantage in draft so i would definitely pick this if i could all right that is it for today wish you guys luck in playing let me know what you guys are playing oh i forgot almost this Yay, 750. All right, that's it for today. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next video.